Sunset Peninsula is back. We've got a private lobby here because I wanted to run this track. A class, we've got a group of uh, good people here going to drop to the back with slower than you. And the 2024 Mustang GT, oh, it's nice to start near the back. Um, I have the power build here, so this is the car I ran at Road America. Slower than you has the full grip build, 4.7 uh, handling. So we're going to see the difference between the two cars here. Now, Sunset sometimes likes power cars, but I don't know if this car is going to have enough of a power advantage over the 4.7 handling car to be worth it. All right, around the outside. Oh, I brushed the wall. I'm stuck on the wall. No. <laughs> I took too much speed there. The Camaro left plenty of room for me. Now keep in mind, uh, this is a lobby of viewers and some people also haven't driven this track yet, so uh, everyone's trying to learn it here. But it's so nice to have Sunset back. I really uh, always enjoyed this track, it was always fun. It looks like they widened it up for a bit better racing too, which I don't mind at all. If this section was a lot tighter before, but now there's actually room to race people in it, which is awesome. Power down the, the short straight here. And they added some curbing as well, which is good. I like that. More racing room. Take the run outside. Get up on the banking. And fly. Get the power going. Get in some draft as well. So higher power cars would probably work more often here if it wasn't for that transition to flat. Um, you can really get caught off there and along with this corner. You can really get caught up in a power car having to lift there compared to a car that's kind of like mid-range. And you'll lose a lot of time having to do that. It's also nice to not have to have the tire barriers through this section, which is, uh, I really like that. So the last motorsport game, this was the last game in general, this was in, of course, it's a, a Forza created track. It was FM4. But in FM3, this track was the first track I ever had a world record on. I believe it was in R3 class with the 08 Viper, the all-wheel drive monster, um, around the short version of this track. Ooh, Sherman going for it, go over the curb. Alright, catching up to these two here, I'm going to break early. Just set up for a good run onto the banking. Power on early. You can really hit that banking. It's quite forgiving, even if your car bounces a little bit. But there's so much room you can get on power so early compared to like a homestead. But right here, full power cars usually have to lift. And that hurts them along with T1. So if you have a car that's got decent power, but can make these two corners flat or near flat, you're looking good. Okay. See it, D-Dub. This car does not like that corner, though. Understeer is pretty hard there. Oh, I'm hot. I'm so sorry. That's all good. Those curbs can be a little bit aggressive as well. But it, it's interesting though because they'll put your car up on two wheels, but they're not going to really like launch you that hard. Which I don't mind. Whoa! Bomb off. I got bumped a little wide there. We're good though. You can take such a crazy angle on this and just go like all the way up if you really want to. And come back down, of course. I do need a little bit more gearing for this track, though. I'm running out of the grab. Got 
There we go. Get the pass done for first. And now it's time to take off. If I can line this up a little better. No. That was not it. I think I've got to check out between the, the chicane there. And that might be the play. Just to load the car up and angle it better and get a better run into that last corner. Kind of like here too. That last corner in that section. You want to launch out of these sections when you're going on the straights. You don't want to uh, have any negative impact on any of your runs there. Okay, slower than you is now in second place. Let's see how the two different builds stack up against each other. Of course, I'm pulling on the straights. Let's see how much he catches me through the infield, though. That corner is so sketchy to take at speed. Obviously, in rivals, you can rewind and, and take that super tight, but in an actual race, it's it's uh, a little risky to. To push that T1, T1 wall, it's scary. That's kind of more like I want to do, except for without the curb grab on the exit. So he's catching me quite a bit through this section, which I would expect. That's better as well. Didn't quite use all the track that I wanted to, but. I think I kept better pace through there. I need to definitely break later for that corner though. It's on the brakes way too early. I think we're pretty even, to be honest. Although that car, the 4-7 handling car will work around way more tracks than this car will. My lap was okay. Nothing crazy. Oh, messed that up though. Went too low on the apron. Got a little sideways. Lost a whole bunch of time there. There's pushing it a little bit more than I would usually want to. wide onto the curb. There we go. That's more what I'm looking for around that corner. Little tight there, but not too bad. Now, if you remember, break a bit later here. That's better. That's way better. Let me try to get a good exit out of this. A little bit of a slide, but not too bad, but he's closed the gap. Let's see how much more gap I can build on the straight, though. If I can keep him out of draft range that's, range, that's huge, but right now he's in it, just barely. It's going to pull out of it right away, though. But that, if that car is in draft range, it'll be way faster in the straights than normal. Oh, he's in the pits? Oh, no. Tires are running out. <laughs> it's all right, I'm going to risk it. Oh, you forgot to change fuel. <laughs> no. Unfortunate. Yeah, the tires aren't worn enough to have to pit, so I was wondering. Oh, they're 
worn a bit now, though. About that one. Yeah, I really like this new version of Sunset. It's a bit wider than the past, which I think is a good thing, especially with how some of these corners are laid out. Like going through here, you actually have room to pass people if you if you, if you can. <laughs> It'll still be difficult, um, but there's a lot more track to do something with, which with I which I enjoy. All right, so just barely running out of tires here. I think for the next private lobby, we'll probably run 100 rubbering to try and kind of simulate what Rivals is. And turn off some of the wear. So we can uh, get some good ideas of what these cars can do. But a 31.9 on a mediocre lap, not too shabby. Really enjoy this track though. Awesome to have a first run around Sunset Peninsula. What did slower than you run? A 32-1. So very similar, very similar. Not too far off. But again, that car's got way more handling. So and once it gets in a draft, it'll pick up a lot more time. And around a lot of other tracks, it'll be much faster. We've got another private lobby here. This time at Sunset. Same as before, but I am driving the Dark Horse. Uh, the Dark Horse with a little bit more power. I started first. That's kind of unfortunate. All right, go everybody, go, go, go. Here comes slower than you. <laughs> Just flying in sideways. Love to see it. Uh, I haven't really tuned this car, so let's just see how it does. Ooh, got a car off coming back on. We're clear though oh yeah feels good out of the box I like it all right on the brakes stop for this corner very tight corner I definitely need first gear out of that my goodness I bogged down oh getting a little sideways in the, new, in the older Mustang Okay, Dancy, you're up next, brother. Slower than you getting a good run out of the corner. I'm gonna back out of this, this is too risky, I think. Oh, that was lag. On the power, nice and early. There's a 2000 Mustang, looking good. Let's get to the bottom of the track. Another beautiful looking Mustang. Mustang City out here. Gearing looks pretty solid. Maybe a tiny bit long, but not too bad. Hard on the brakes. That's where it'll get you. Very easy to slide off in that corner. Underneath the RX-7. Yeah, first is way better out of that corner, for sure. Dark Horse is feeling good, though. I believe slower than using the 4.7 handling regular Mustang GT, the 2024. So very similar builds. The only thing is my car is significantly heavier. It has similar handling, but my car is about 500 pounds heavier than his. Just because of the way you have to build it to make it work. So it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see what we can do here. See the pace differences between the two cars. He's got draft though. That's going to help. I don't yet. I will maybe soon? No, I don't think so. Trim is too far ahead. There we go. Now I'll get a little bit of draft from him. Looks like I do have speed on him, though, because he's got draft. Oh, a little bit of lag there. 
No, don't do it to me. Total time penalty is about unfortunate. Time. All right, Chairman. Chairman, the tank. Gonna show my nose there. It's wide, but not wide enough. slide. Maybe outside? Ah, a little risky. Fall back in and get a get a run. Power down the street. There we go. Really aggressive on power there, but I wanted to get out of that corner and, and uh, get clear. Hit the banking super hard, but it worked up. Now slower than you is on my tail again in the draft. Yeah, the, this car is definitely faster than the uh, other Mustang, I think. At least the power build that I had. I think that 4.7 handling Mustang is faster too, around this track. Oh, slower than you must have made a mistake. You dropped way back. Alright, DW. What you got, brother? Sister? Brother? Right on the tail. Just a small nudge. Oh, we're basically the same in the straights, though. I'm gonna send it, and then get the inside for this. But then just hit the hit the banking really hard. Got a little bit of a better run because of that. Basically the same in the straight though. Drag race on sunset, not on the drag strip of sunset though. I'm pulling away on top end. There we go. That is the lead. the wall. Yeah, I don't really have a good gear to exit that corner in. Nothing that feels great. to it through there. Smoother transition. Alright. <laughs> Thank you very much, Doc. I appreciate that, buddy. Thanks for the year of sub. That's amazing, man. Appreciate all your support. 31-3. Absolutely cooking. Hopefully you're doing well, Doc. Whoa, horsey. I was about a tenth up going into that as well.
I definitely could get some time back on gearing through that corner though for sure. Through that tight left hander. Bad corner there. Set up for a bad everything. I'm not letting go of throttling. Uh, I see Cocker at checker flag. Jeez, mean green. Be careful out there, bud. I'll get you in trouble. I'm gonna run high here just for fun. See how smooth that can be against the wall. Not that smooth. Not too bad. Stay in the lane, stay in the lane. Oh, it's a little bit too much to, uh, that was full lock there at the end. Just flattened out a little bit too hard for me to hold that very well. Play nice and safe, T1. Into the 2-3. Whoa, slight tap. Into the 360, because why not? There we go. Wasn't too pretty, but it wasn't too bad. Slower than you, coming back all the way into second, though. Made the ground back up, looking good. Now I'm I'm very curious to see how these cars compare to the 2018 Mustang because 2018 Mustang's pretty good. That was so smooth. Dark horse with a little bit extra power, quite a bit more weight, not looking too shabby around sunset. Just barely beating out slower than his best lap. Was that in draft though? You must have had draft for that, right? Maybe not. I think you could run that without draft. I think you could. I feel like I could I could get this car into the 30s with a bit of gearing changing, for sure. No draft, nice, very nice. So pretty even, I mean, all the builds are pretty even. I think that 2024 power build is a little slow. Um, yeah, pretty even throughout all these cars, I like it. 